athletes who believe in God. I think about like Mariano Rivera. Is that his name? Mariano Rivera, the closer for the Yankees? Best closer for the Yankees of all time. He would come in with one or two innings left uh-huh. and just, you know, throw absolute fire and just, you know, nice. win the game, which yeah, is a yeah. high pressure in World Series, like high pressure situations. Well known to be, you know, religious. He wore the cross. He prayed before he you nice. know, went, went on thing. And I think I've said this on the show before, but like the word genius used to mean something different. That you, pe- yeah. People would say that you have genius. They wouldn't say that you are a genius. So they thought that genius oh. was something that like lived in the walls and would like visit you if you were spiritually ready for it to visit you. So it took completely took away the whole ego of it. Like I'm a, I'm a oh, genius. Yeah, 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 like yeah. You have genius oh, at that moment, you know? Yeah. So athletes, I mean, some of the best of the best in every sport believe they're in a higher power so that when they're on the mound or they're on the golf course, they know it's not them doing it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that is this guy, Scotty Scheffler in golf. He's number one in the world right now. He's he's unbelievably good. Like he's unbelievably good. He talks about Jesus and, and, and God all the time. Yeah. But um, but he also talks about how it doesn't matter if he wins or loses. He's going to be right. the same person when he goes home. You right. know, um, that's a good point. And in those high stakes moments, yeah. you know, like game seven, whatever, yeah. last shot, Ray Allen, yeah, Miami yeah. Heat, yeah, <laughs> like. You have to know, like, you have to not be there. You know, you have to not be there. You what, know, what's so crazy about what you're saying is that I grew up, I grew up playing sports, and I used to enjoy baseball a lot. But when I was little, it was never what I wanted to do. It was just fun for me. I was always really good at it, but because I didn't care about it, yeah, is why I was so good. Yeah, because there was no pressure. It was right. just fun, fun for me. So I think that the secret of it is to not have an attachment to it. Right. You know what I mean? And when you have no attachment to it, you can see clearly on how to, and that's the be- best way to be conscious about it. Is Sports or no sports. It's right. It's the best way to, right. best way to go <laughs> right. about it, you know? 